This first demo shows our high precision wireless synchronization technology. We've set up two wireless hops between two office buildings as shown here. Then we compare the synchronization accuracy of our technology after these two wireless hops with that of a GPS based network. On this computer screen, we see the sync quality of our network after these two hops, which shows a fraction of a PPB that is parts per billion in frequency offset and fraction of a nanosecond in time offset. Shown here is our master node on the left and the slave node after two hops on the right. Note that the master node has a small GPS receiver connected to its top right corner as highlighted. These two larger antennas are for our master and slave nodes and the third is for an independent GPS node. Now let's look at the sync quality displayed on the scope. The yellow trace is our master PPS signal, that is pulse per second signal, locked onto a GPS receiver, which is also the triggering source for the scope. The green is our slave node, and the purple is from the second GPS unit. As you can see here, our network is almost perfectly phase locked after two wireless hops, while the second independent GPS pulse drifts back and forth with more than 200 nanoseconds of offset. Again, the computer display here shows a remarkably low level of frequency offset at less than one part per billion, and the time offset at a fraction of a nanosecond. The next demonstration illustrates the mobile positioning capabilities of our hypersynchronized network. We're following on from the previous video illustration shown here by tracking multiple targets, both on the ground and airborne. For this implementation, we have four static reference nodes which are highlighted in orange. There are six mobile nodes, four worn on our willing volunteers' helmets, one stationary in the center of the field, and one mounted onto a drone aircraft. Here is the laptop gathering the positioning information from the mesh network and displaying it in real time as a global position via Google Earth given the known locations of the reference nodes. A benefit of the mobile nodes in the mesh network is that they help to maintain a good positioning geometry. Our wireless hypersynchronized mesh network provides the core functionality of a ground-based mobile positioning system and for unmanned aerial vehicle landing guidance system and can be used alongside alternative techniques such as inertial measurements, angle of arrival antennas, satellite positioning and visually based guidance systems. In this video, we're going to demonstrate an application of our high precision wireless synchronization technology by tracking a drone aircraft. Previously, we've shown similar applications of our technology by locating a remote control car and by controlling a video camera gimbal to keep a target equipped with one of our radios in view. As in these other illustrations, both the target and ground station maintain frequency lock over a wireless link. By comparing the phase of signals received by or transmitted from the multiple antennas at the base station, we can determine an arrival angle of the radio signal. In an environment with a dominant line of sight signal path, this angle of arrival is the direction of the target relative to the base station's antennas. This photo shows the arrangement of these antennas at our base station. Comparing the phase of the signals using the horizontal and vertical combinations of antennas gives the angle of arrival in these respective planes, and the range to the target is determined by high precision analysis of the time of arrival of the signals, which is a component of our synchronization procedure. Note that the stepper motor gimbal housing the antenna is locked in place for this demonstration to emphasize the angle of arrival range and resolution of our system. These next two videos show some additional test patterns that we've used. An inclined star on the left and the bat signal on the right. If you'd like more information on this or on any of our other technologies, please don't hesitate to contact us and stay tuned for future video demonstrations from Phaser Lab. Thank you for watching.